Welcome to Capitan Morgan's War Games and this is my channel update for June. Dead on time this time around, I'm not halfway through or near the end of the month, so, but uh, I've been good and getting my videos done a little bit earlier this month, so uh, that's pretty good. Uh, what can I tell you about? you're going to see you're going to see my list and then i'll do the list breakdown i've already done my orc list but i'm going to do what i'm going to do is um, i've got a few more of the actual models that i'm using uh i think there's one five out of 45 models to add to it to to make the list complete uh, one of them is a war, war boss. You uh, only coming to, to use here. Uh, some of the strats out of uh, psychic awakening. But let's see. So first up should be the uh, orc list. And I'll, I'll break it down. What, what, I, what I'm taking, why I'm taking, how I'm going to be sort of using it, and why I think the list, list will work. Uh, and Mr. Beer, you're going to be my uh, metaphorical punch bag for a few months and for for a few few games. Until, until I get, if I if I get to go to tournaments, just trying this out and refining it. I do have another list, orc list, but you won't see any boys in. Uh, well, that's I've got to build by that and build that. Uh, it's going to, I'm going to have a lot more grots in that, uh, and some maybe a few surprises in there. Again, it will be uh, using some goodness out of the uh, psychic awakening book. Uh, after that, I've got a couple of tactical videos to come out. One on deployment, one on movement, uh, because they're probably two of the most important phases of a game and it's probably where you win and lose games for most of I mean bad bad deployment and bad movement compounded by bad dice will lose you a game but there'd be another bat rep at least one if I can get another one one in uh, I will depend on lockdown uh, because I've got to rearrange the game with uh, Stego 6 Plus Stego and hopefully that will as soon as lockdown's done as soon, and as soon as we can uh, get that in that's probably going to be July sometime the earliest with that maybe a quick bit quicker but we'll see uh, In the next few weeks, uh, as it's uh, not far away to to the next up date, so I'm going to have another one. My daughter, uh, I'm going to teach her ITC because I think ITC is fairer and less uh, and more forgiving. So. And to be honest, that's where I want to look. This list is should be ideally suited for for that sort of game. Uh, well, on parts of it anyway, should be suited for the uh, whole mall. And if I can, uh, I can spring a surprise. For it, uh, 
I will, but again, battle reports. Uh, at least one a month. Uh, I might be able to get two a month with, with my daughter, we'll see. She'll be using my armies for until her Ashton Militar and my done. Uh, once and of course, uh, when I'm going to uh, also hopefully uh, from, from July, maybe start doing Q&As, monthly Q&As. Uh, basically anything from personal to Warhammer 40k and that that'll be it for, for the month I might give a few first Q&A up at the end of the month actually and so I'm going to give you a month well, it'll give you quite a few weeks to get questions in, either on this video down 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 in the comments below, or on the Edit Fair Forty K forum, or any of the other, and all the Warhammer Forty K uh, or communities. Any of those uh, drop questions off, and I'll I'll quite like, gladly answer if I can. Thank you for watching. If you've been have enjoyed, please hit the like button, press the subscribe button, and hit the bell button to stay up to date with all my content. Also, feel free to share anything you've enjoyed. Remember, everybody knows the dice are loaded.